Hey, welcome back to Vossnet Gaming. I'm Vossman, and today we're delving into the tropical rainforest that is Grey Zone Warfare. And I'll have to admit it, I do feel like I'm cheating on DMZ a little bit here, but I have to tell you, Grey Zone has me a little hooked, even though I'll never admit it to the DMZ people, but, well, apart from in this video, obviously. So there I was, minding my own business in the, the DMZ, racking up the kills and dominating Al Mazra like a boss. Okay, okay. So you've seen my games, it was more like I was the target being dominated by a tier 1 boss. Yep, fine. But then, out of curiosity, or maybe a moment of sheer insanity, I decided to give Grey Zone Warfare a go. And, oh no, I found myself liking it. And I was supposed to be, like, hating it. I was determined to hate it. Now, Grey Zone Warfare is a little bit like the sophisticated older brother of DMZ. It's got all the tactical depth and strategic gameplay that I never knew I needed really and suddenly running and gunning felt a little bit, mm, a bit average maybe. But here's the kicker, I can't just abandon DMZ for Grey Zone Warfare, it's like breaking up with your high school sweetheart for the mysterious new kid in town, sure Grey Zone has its charms but Call of Duty DMZ will always have that special place in my heart. I mean, how can I betray Captain Price and the gang for some fancy tactical action? It's like choosing between pizza and sushi. They're like both amazing, but like for entirely different reasons. Now, don't get me wrong, Grey Zone Warfare is great, but no matter what I do, I cannot get my FPS above 80, 90 for some reason. It's it's obviously been optimised for Nvidia cards and I'm playing on an AMD and no matter what I do, I can't get it above there. But despite that, the game is actually still playable, still looks fantastic. It is a lot slower than DMZ and it takes a little bit of getting used to and the kills are a little harder to get and when you get shot, it's a little bit harder to deal with that. And the respawning is a bit of a bit annoying when you have to go all the way back to try and find your kit and come back and uh, regain it that way because, you know, it's not DMZ. So you have to get used to this new game mechanic. But once you do and you get into it a little bit, it's actually really fun. And you find yourself wanting to just do a little bit better each time. Yeah, it's not got the same kind of action. It's not going to bring the same sort of content that DMZ's brought. But it definitely has a place for me. And I will continue to play it, although I feel a little bit dirty saying it. And let's not forget the guilt. Every time I load up Grey Zone Warfare instead of Call of Duty, I feel like I'm betraying my family honour. It's like being caught red-handed watching that really good TV show that you promised you'd watch only with your wife. You know it's wrong, but you just can't help yourself. So yeah, I'll continue to pretend to hate Grey Zone Warfare while secretly loving every minute of it, but until Call of Duty DMZ is totally cold in the ground and pushing up the daisies, I'll still be in the DMZ, because in the end, a gamer's heart wants what it wants, and DMZ is where the fun content happens. Well, I'm probably not going to be putting too much Grey Zone Warfare content on my YouTube channel simply because I don't think it's going to deliver the same kind of content that DMZ does. And until we find an alternative to DMZ that's that good, I don't think I'll be properly moving over. Anyway, you know what to do in the meantime. If you like this kind of thing, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe and a few comments maybe in the comment section if it so takes your fancy. Otherwise, you take care of each other, be good to each other, and be kind, and all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one.